Hey, Saggy, we're doing your um, end of May home stretch reading. Okay, I think in the Scorpio video, I said Virgo at the end. I meant Scorpio, obviously. Duh. Sorry about that. It's really early, you guys. All right. So, Saggy, this is for you. We're doing your end of uh, May home stretch reading. All right, this is going to be from May 22nd to May 31st. And we're going to be pulling three cards for your home. I mean, for your love, your, your work environment, and your home environment, okay? So let's see what's going on with Saggy. Let's see what's going on, Sag, with you. All right, Saggy. Two more shuffles, and I think your cards are ready. Okay, Saggy, so your overall energy for the um, home stretch is the full. So new beginnings, putting yourself out there, something brand new, something fresh. This is a major arcana, Sag, so whether, whether you want a new beginning or not, it's going to happen for you. It's a major arcana. You can't stop it, all right? So if you want one or not, you're going to have a new beginning in all areas of your life, all right? You could be dealing with an Aries. I think Aries got the full card as their overall energy, so keep that in mind. Okay, so with your love life, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Wands, and the King of, and the King of Swords, all right? So in your love life, I see here that you were juggling, Sag, okay, but you're going to be making a decision here, a material decision here. You were juggling between two people, two lovers, two situations. Maybe you were juggling work and home life. Maybe you were like, couldn't figure out how to balance your work, uh, your love and work situation here. But I see the two of pentacles in reverse as you making a decision. I also see the page of wands. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign or you could be the younger fire sign, okay? But you're thinking about doing something. You're sending a message here. You're also doing some research here. You're, you're thinking about making a move. You're planning something out, okay? We have the King of Swords here. You could be dealing with a um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone who's very practical, very professional, very logical, very upfront, straightforward, no bullshit, cut shit out. Um, this is someone who's very meticulous as well, someone who gets the, gets the job done, okay? Someone who plays no games, all right? But I feel like you're you're going to be messaging, messaging this person, reaching out to them, sending a message, okay? This is going to be a passionate message as well. You could be studying this person or watching them or just studying how to approach them. You could be also to be studying like what's a twin flame, what's a soulmate, how do I approach this person? What's a twin mate? So uh, what's a twin twin flame soulmate connection? Okay. Also, too, I feel like you could be cutting this person out. You could be you could be cutting out the uh, air sign or cutting out the fire sign. Another younger fire sign. Okay. Whatever the, the the case may be, someone's getting cut out because you're making a decision here. You're you're dropping something. Okay. You're dropping someone and you're um you're you're uh, messaging someone here. Okay. With the full card as your overall energy, yeah, there's going to be a new beginning. All right. Either a new beginning with this younger fire sign or a new beginning with this air sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign as well it could be any sign for that matter but this is what i'm getting from your reading all right so there's going to be a brand new beginning you could be newly single even maybe you just maybe you decide to drop both okay because i see the two of pentacles that he's juggling in the upright but in, when he's dropped he could you could drop both people maybe you're juggling two people and you drop them both and you just want to be single you just want to be by yourself you don't want to be in, with anybody but i feel like you're going to be sending a message here you could be sending a message here to this uh, air sign that you want to be single that you don't want to be in a relationship you don't want to be committed all right um but whatever the case may be there's going to be a message sent about something getting dropped somebody getting dropped there's going to be some truth had here okay a new beginning a new um Putting yourself out there, being brave, having courage, but I feel like someone's gonna get cut here with the King of Swords. Someone, someone always gets cut. All right, so you're gonna be cutting somebody out. I feel like you're gonna be messaging this person, telling them, "Hey, um, I don't want this anymore. I want to be single. I want to go it alone." Okay, whatever the case may be, there's gonna be a brand new beginning in love for you, whether that's you being single or you starting something new with someone else. All right, um, whatever the case may be, it's gonna be forced upon you. This is a major arcana. Okay, Sag. Um, in your work environment, we have the Nine of Cups. The uh, 
the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like in your work environment, Okay, um, even though you're, you're not really making any investments here, you're not being, it, it, there's not a lot of abundance here. Your, your work environment is kind of like fleeting uh, back and forth. You could be working with a fire, you could um, be working with a fire sign in business, okay, younger fire sign. Um, or this could be your energy here, Sagittarius, because the, the Knight of Wands is your energy, okay? So you could be um, working on your own. Maybe you're traveling, okay? Maybe you travel for work, or maybe you're into a, a bunch of different things. Maybe you have a lot of different jobs here. But with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you're not really making any huge investments as far as work goes, all right? Um, this could, too, you're not spending any money. You're, you're being very tight with your money as well, okay? But with the Nine of Cups energy, you're happy about this. You're happy You're happy with your work. You're happy traveling. You're happy, um, you know, having a lot going on. You're happy with your job splitting. You're happy having different, different things, um, different, um, different, like, uh, opportunities, different work environments, okay? Maybe you switch jobs a lot. Okay, maybe you just switch the job because um, it's more exciting. Maybe you're traveling for work, okay? Um, too, obviously, you could also actually work with horses. That could be a possibility as well. Maybe you work with animals, all right? Um, but I feel like here, um, you're getting your wish. You're, you're very happy. You're emotionally fulfilled by yourself. You could be working in a bar as well because I always see the Nine of Cups as somebody, a bartender, somebody working in a bar, drinks, okay? You could be working in a bar, working as a bartender, Um you could have several jobs, but with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here, I feel like um, you're pretty content with what you do. I feel like you travel a lot for work here. Yeah, you travel a lot for work and you're not really looking for any new opportunities for work. You're not looking for any new investments. You, you're pretty much happy with what you do here. But with the Ace of Pentacles, check this out. Look, it's the, it's the devil. It's the devil card. So I feel like, I feel like two here, you could be you could be like not looking for new opportunities and work because you you're, you're you're trapped and you're bound to a situation because it maybe it pays well, okay? Or um, you're not really grounded in your work. I feel like too you could be focused on money too much here. Maybe you're very very materialistic, all about your coin. Because I'm seeing the devil's head here. I really am. But I feel like you're not looking for any new work, any new work. You're pretty content in what you do. I feel like you travel a lot for work. Okay, this makes you very happy. You could be working in a bar. Could be drinking at work even all right but with the ace of pentacles i'm not seeing any new investments no new abundance coming in here okay but there's, there's going to be new beginnings with the full card being your overall energy there's going to be new beginnings here in work so starting something new all right new abundance new work going it alone working for yourself being an entrepreneur all right so in your home environment, Sag, we have this, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Lovers, and we have the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, so I feel like you could be dealing with a lover, or maybe you are living with a lover, and you're going to be breaking up for them, breaking up with them this month, separating from them, getting out of a home environment. Maybe you too could be living with your parents as well, and you're, and you're separating from them, okay? We have, the, we have the Queen of Swords on one side, and we have the Six of Cups on the other. So I feel like maybe you're living with a twin flame. Okay, maybe you are living with someone you're recording. Maybe you're living with an air sign. Okay, maybe your mom's an air sign. Either way, either way it goes, the queen of swords in reverse is such a bitch, all right? She's very... Um She's very spiteful. She's very mean spirited. Okay, um, she's very argumentative as well. I feel like in your in your home environment, sad somebody is arguing with you a lot. Somebody is somebody is very much a bitch to you. Okay, very sharp with their words. Very hurtful. A lot of some arguments and disagreements. Okay, someone who does not yield. Someone who's very detached emotionally. Someone who's very cold. All right, and I feel like you're separating from this person. At the, going into the end of May here. You're separating from them. You're moving out or you're kicking them out or something like that. But I feel like you're letting go of the past here. I feel like you might have been living with this person for some time and you're just letting go of it. You're letting go of the past. All right, you're getting over it. You're cutting somebody out because whoever you're living with, I feel like this person is very much controlling you, okay? Because this person's very detached from detached from love, very mean-spirited, very bitchy, um, very argumentative, very aggressive, very uh, irritable too. Someone who's very always irritated and shit like that. Just very mean, very bitchy. Always want to argue. Always got to have the last word. Very sharp tongue. Just very hurtful. And I feel like this could be a lover that you're living with, or this could be a parent that you're living with, or a sibling. But I feel like you're definitely se you're definitely separating from this person because with the lovers card, it's all it's always about a choice. You have to choose something here. And I feel like this could be you could be living with a karmic even. And you're separating from them because they're too much of a bitch, basically. And with the um, with the uh, full card here, yeah, it's a new beginning. You're having new beginnings in all areas areas of your life here, Sagittarius. Definitely with this home, you have to make a choice here. Do you, do you stay or do you go? I feel like too, 
with the with the with the lovers here on on one side you you may be living with um a really bitchy air sign okay someone's really bitchy mean spirited just like a fucking bitch who's always arguing with you and then on one side i feel like i feel like you're wanting to move in with somebody from your past but you're stuck with a karmic here because we have we have two sides here and they're split all right so you have to make a decision here between two people that you love maybe you maybe you're living with a parent or a sibling that you love them but they're they're so bitchy you have to get away from this person you have to you have to split separate from this person okay and i feel like you're getting over the past here you have to get over it it's going to be forced upon you anyway sagittarius so i feel like you're moving out you're separating from somebody in your home environment here you're moving out you're, you're going elsewhere all right you're cutting somebody the fuck out of your life you're kicking somebody the fuck out okay and i feel like you're getting over the past okay yeah, so I feel like you might have lived here for a very long time too. Maybe with someone you really truly love. But coming into the coming into June, you're leaving. You're separating from this person, period. Point period point blank. It's gonna be a separation because you're over it. You're over this shit. You're over um, you know, I, I feel like too, this this is how this is like childhood issues as well. Maybe you have abandonment issues here. Maybe you are afraid to leave this person because they made you feel like like a child. They made you feel young. They made you feel good. But I feel like they turned into a real bitch. And you're moving on, okay? You're separating from this person. You're, you're moving homes, okay? All right? So I hope this helps you, Sad. You're going to have new beginnings in every area of your life here coming into June. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, okay? Thank you.